Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old, been working on a job for 17 years, and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay. And you got to start all over again. It's hard when you are married and raising children and your children are crawling and your husband dies unexpectedly. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. It was rough when I lost my job and I could not find a job. It was humiliating and embarrassing borrowing money and then I couldn't pay the money back when I told them I would. That's rough. You don't know how much future you've got. What's gone is gone. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Some of you have had divorces. Some of you um, have probably had bankruptcies. Some of you have had terrible things happen in the past. But what's gone is gone. It's in the past. And to spend your time focusing on the past is to spend the only thing that you've got, and that's what's right here, right now, because the sand never stops running. This is all we've got. And to spend your time now thinking of what happened there is making absolute certain that the future is going to be the same as the past. When things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once, and they just compound on top of each other and it's it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time but let me tell you that that doesn't mean give up in fact it means the opposite it means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the war path. Life can be brutal sometimes. We've all been there those moments when it feels like the world is against us. Like we're carrying the weight of everything alone. Maybe you faced this when you lost a job you thought you'd have forever. Or perhaps it was when a relationship you invested everything in fell apart leaving you feeling lost and empty. These moments can make you feel like the ground has been pulled out from under you, leaving you wondering how you'll ever stand up again. It's easy to feel overwhelmed, to think about giving up when life hits hard. But don't. Those tough moments, they're not here to break you. They're here to make you. Here's what I discovered that happens to you in life, that you will go through things, and while you're going through them, you can't understand why it's happening to you. But after you go through it, you get back and you look at it and you say, oh, now I understand why I needed that lesson. That I, did, I couldn't understand it then. But after I got through it, then I saw that that was preparing me for bigger and better things. And I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges these challenges that you face, they're gonna do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up, dig in. Line up those problems and confront them, face them, fight them. Do not let them bring you down. In fact, in fact, let those challenges raise you up let them elevate you let their demands and their trials make you stronger let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow as you go through the challenges of life and you look at it and embrace whatever comes to you don't run from it step toward it don't try and duck it like most people do See, most people want it easy. See, easy come, easy what? Easy go. 
See, but when you go at what you're going to deal with and you deal with difficulties of it, when you handle those hard things close at hand, making those hard decisions right now that you don't want to make, learning those things that you don't like to do, but you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. And I'm saying to you, whatever you got to do, do it, because if you don't, life is going to whoop you until you surrender. So if it's hard, then do it hard. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? Les, you must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That it's not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. A lot of things are going to happen that will catch you off guard. And so therefore you've got to deal with and handle it as it comes. And not only that, but that faith and patience drives you into action. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. Remember, diamonds are formed under pressure. The same goes for you. When life hits hard, it's natural to feel like you're at the end of your rope, like you can't take another step. But let me tell you, that's exactly when you need to dig deeper. When you're exhausted and you feel like you've got nothing left, that's when you discover just how much strength you truly have.